restaurants and kitchens. There's this idea that there's only room for one woman. It's kind of a shame that you can't take female out of the equation. How we approach Japanese food is knowing exactly whose shoulders we're standing on. My name is Yael Pete. And my name is Alini Yamamoto. And, and we, we are partners, partners and co-chefs at Karasu. We both grew up in New Jersey. I was raised in the States by a white mother and a Japanese father. When I got hired here, I was supposed to be just a line cook. Yael was above me, but she's the one that brought the idea to the owners that, well, maybe we should be equals. Normally, you don't lessen yourself to bring somebody else up. This place is really small. It's not the kind of place that can handle a brigade. And to find someone I could trust who cared about the, like, the food as much as I did, and for Alina and I to say, all right, we're a team on this, it was the only way it could function. Cheers, Cheers. to the coffee I left behind. Oh, so sweet. It is so sweet. Karasu is a Japanese-American restaurant and cocktail bar. I always loved the flavors of Japanese cuisine more than anything. And I wanted to see something beyond sushi and ramen and what people are really familiar with. We serve our own take on izakaya food. Izakaya food is food that goes with drinks. You never go to an izakaya and don't drink. We change our menu constantly. Walking through the farmer's market, we see what's in season, what looks good, and then make adjustments accordingly. And that was right out of Montauk. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Just about the same size as me. <laughs> That's how we size them. I think it's interesting that both of us were doing stuff that was a little more artistic before culinary. I wanted to illustrate and animate. And then when I started cooking, I was like, this just feels more fulfilling to me than drawing something on a piece of paper. Art is about communication for me and interacting with a viewer. You put something in front of someone that you've created and you see their reaction. You just feel connected. I was like, well, if I'm actually going to pursue this as a career, I should probably really pursue it. And that's when I moved to Japan. That's where I feel like I really found my voice. But I wasn't allowed to do a lot of things, especially being half Japanese. Like, you're in a really weird in-between place. There's this saying in Japanese where you steal with your eyes. And that was kind of my mantra while I was there. It's like, well, if I can't work with this or if they won't show me this, I can watch it and I can taste it afterwards. Alina moved back from Japan midsummer, and suddenly the things I enjoyed doing were combined with a way greater knowledge. The menu here started small based off of what we could do in the confines of that kitchen. It makes it kind of fun to figure out a way to make a really beautiful meal with really limited tools. It's like, how can, how can we steam something without creating steam um, and roast something without creating smoke in a kitchen with no vent? Once the doors open, it's a little bit of an adrenaline rush. I've always called it getting ready for war. There's no breathing, there's no thinking, you're just moving. You're performing for people in limitless combinations. It's about food, it's about drink, it's, it's all of these things together. So it's not just about the food that we're putting on the table. I want it to be good, obviously, but I don't want it to be so good that you stop talking. Food is so social for me, and to look out onto the dining room and see people having that experience, that's all I ever really wanted. We're at Pond 74, Pickles Special. Yay! It's one of my favorite specials we've done in a while. When you toss around these ideas of authenticity and who's allowed to cook what, it's less about that and it's so much more about knowing the history of what you're cooking and like giving credit where credit's due. It's not my recipe, it's my grandmother's, or it's not my recipe, it's this person's. I learned it and I'm trying to do it justice. We're trying to be humble about how we approach Japanese food. And I'm saying that as a Japanese citizen. I like to say that I'm always studying and trying to learn more. Like, there's nothing wrong with being a student. We are so lucky to have so much positivity. There's always that moment where I'm like, is someone gonna think we're dudes and be surprised? But mostly people are, are just really encouraging. I think the opportunities that are available for women now are changing in little ways, but 
that's not to say that there's not more room for improvement, especially within the food industry. I know that I love cooking, and I know that I love creating an environment for people to come together, and I just hope that I get to continue doing that. My name is Alina Yamamoto. And my name is Yael Pete. And, and I, I am a boss. boss.